Hey, what's happening guys? Today, I've got this neat little uh, breadboard plug-in components pack from DF Robot. And DF Robot did send this out free of charge for our consideration. So thank you to them. Now what we've got here are a bunch of different little components. These are uh, surface mount components, but they're mounted on little boards in such a way you want to open that you can actually plug them in to a regular breadboard. So here we have some LEDs. And I think this is a neat idea, which is why I ordered these. How these ones say on the back? These ones say B R R G B. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough, won't we? So we get. Eight LEDs. Then we have capacitors. Hundred nanofarad. Hundred nano. Twenty-two pico. Twenty-two pico. Forty-seven micro. Forty-seven micro. 2.2, 2.2. And what we have here, diodes and transistors together. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so we got transistors here on this little pack. Oh, don't worry, we'll take a closer look at these. We've got PNP, PNP, NPN, NPN. Oh. Are you telling me you only gave me two transistors of each type? That would be... Uh, kind of disappointing then we have diodes hmm. we'll have to check and see whether they're silicon junction or shot key or whatever then we have resistors We've got a lot of resistors. 1K. More 1K. Lots of 1K resistors. Which is okay. I like 1, 1K, 10K. You can give me all of those you want. Those are what I use a lot. So we got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 1K resistors. Here's our 10 Ks. One, two, three, four. Four point seven K, you get four of those. One, two, a three, a four. 220 ohm, which I assume they want us to use for LEDs. Let's count like the count from Sesame Street. One, ah, 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 two, ah, 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 three, ah, 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 four, ah, 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 five, ah, 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 oh, I'm going to get comments about this, six, ah, 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 seven, ah, 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 eight, <laughs> oh, cracking myself up, and finally, what do we get? breadboard plug-in connector so, let's get that out of there breadboard plug-in connector is what apparently some sort of jumper pack Okay. So 
So that's what you get. And the price, I believe, is uh, right around $20. So it's a little pricey for what you're getting. Let's, uh, let's take a look at those diodes. Pardon the mess on the desk. And we shall see what they are. So they are apparently Schottky diodes. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let me get a breadboard out. All right, so we got a breadboard. We got our power supply. Let's set it for uh, five volts. I'll hook it up here. All right, so we can get a uh, 220 ohm resistor like that and oh look at that did not realize these LEDs came with resistors on them that's interesting do they all have resistors yes they do okay so we don't need our 220 ohm Resistors. <laughs> oh, how am I going to hook this up? I guess I can just do it like this then, huh? There's anode or cathode rather yeah, there's the anode and if we hook these up no yeah, that's a blue LED let's see what else we got red Yeah, that's a red LED. Red. And that should be a green LED. Yes, sir. -y. That's a green LED. All right. So let's see if we can't uh, make a circuit out of this. Okay. I tried to put together. Your standard two transistor uh, a stable multi vibrator but she ain't vibrating and I think that's probably because I just don't have the right values or it could be because that one's not in the right place let's see what happens if I put that in the right place Turn that off. See if we can't get that in there. Come on. Come on. All right, what are we get now? Yeah, nothing. Well, like I said, it works, but there just honestly isn't the right values of stuff here. I mean, the classic way I learned to build this, 
is you use 470 ohm resistors for your uh, current limiting resistors and then 47k here I have no idea what values these are so while I think this is a good idea for $20 when this is probably you know a dollar fifty worth of parts I, I can't support it I can't say that I would buy this it's a good idea it's too expensive and you know they would need to add some jumper cables or something like that in my opinion all right so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this i hope you'll give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons and big thanks to df robot for sending this out to us i'll put a link to it down below that's it i'm out peace